Okay. I'm going to walk y'all through downloading, logging in, and signing into class on the Waterfy Athlete app. So if you have an iPhone, go to the App Store or whatever it is for your smartphone. Um, you'll just search for Wattify Athlete. So if you just type in Wattify, it'll be that second one that pops up. It looks like this. It's a white icon. Um, mine's already downloaded, so I'm just going to open it up, but obviously you would download it here. Um, I logged out of mine just because if you're downloading it for the first time, you guys are probably going to have to log in. So if you don't remember your password, I would just recommend making a new one because if you just try like the seven that you have, it's probably not going to work. So, all right. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Sometimes it sucks and it just goes slow. But once you log in, uh, it'll take you to like the workout of the day first. So let's see if that works. Once you log into the app, uh, it'll probably pop, pop up this thing which I'm just going to say no, if you want to add it to your calendar, then that would actually be a good way of how to remember to sign into class, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to hit no thanks. Okay. So it brings you here. This is what it normally looks like. Um, this is the write up for today. And then you'll see, we probably won't put the warm up in, but this is what it is for today. So the warm up, the workout, and then the cool down after. Um, so you can look at all of that. Um, if you go to the bottom and you click the little calendar icon, this brings you to all the classes that we have available. So um, as you can see, what pops up first is the button that says reserve. And it tells you since we're limiting people to 10, uh, or sorry, since we're limiting classes to 10 people, it tells you like how full the classes are getting. If you see one that's 10 out of 10, probably it'll say the instead of reserve it'll say join waitlist and if you can only make it to that class but you have to join the waitlist just do that um, if someone cancels and you were the first one on the waitlist you'll be able to get into the class in the order that you guys join the waitlist so um, I'm gonna try to join this 330 class so I reserve my spot and then the button changes to sign in um, I have to click this. Reserving a spot saves you a spot in class, but that doesn't mean you're actually signed in yet. You have to click sign in to be in the class. But then, once you do that, it'll say add results. Um, and if you click this, it takes you to where you can put in your results for the workout. So you can do all that there. If you realize, like, oh shoot, I signed into class, but something came up, I'm not going to make it. At the bottom, that's where you also click cancel sign in, which... That's how a spot opens up and someone on the waitlist can get in. So make sure that if you realize, oh, I signed in, but I'm not going to make it, that you actually do cancel to let someone else try and do, to try to get in. Um, but for demo purposes, I'm going to re-sign into class. So once I'm there, I'll add my results. Um, and let's just say I got like 100 rounds because I'm, oh, it doesn't even let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> like 20 rounds because I'm awesome okay so I do it blah 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 if you want to make sure that you like put what you did in the comments you have to push this comment is visible on whiteboard if you go to settings you can change that to where it will always be visible and you don't have to click it every time but that's what you can do once you do that you hit done and now your score is in there another cool thing is once you guys are here you can click attendance and you can see who else joined this 330 class. So if I have a friend who's like, hey, I'm going to be there at the 330 class. And you're like, okay, cool. And you sign in and you look and see if they're there and their name isn't in there. You can see if they're lying or not. But also you can help them remember to sign in. Um, okay. Once you add your score, if you go back to the main page and click this little wait at the bottom, there is usually... Right above where it says edit result, a purple bar that says uh, view whiteboard. Um, I emailed the guy at Wattify asking him or saying that that's not appearing in my app. So like, y'all need to fix it. <laughs> and uh, he, was, he said that it's a bug that they're working on. So um, you should be able to see the whiteboard from this page. 
whether you put in your results or not, that shouldn't affect it. Um, so he said he'll get back to me once they fix it. So we'll just have to wait until they do. Um, I know a bunch of you don't like signing in slash don't remember to slash don't think it's important. But especially now, we need you guys to because the classes are limited. So if you don't sign in and you just show up, and the class is full, you will not be allowed to work out at that time. And we are gonna be pretty strict about this um, because we have to be. And it'd be super cool if you guys could work with us until the restrictions lift a little bit more. Um, so please do your best to follow all these things. And yeah, that's how you use the app. And you guys can mess around with it too. You can go and look at like your previous workouts. If you wanna find a specific thing, you can go here type in, I want to know what I did on a back squat, it'll show you all my history, blah, 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 so you can see stuff like that, you can mess with your settings, this is where you see your notifications, and all that, so I would ask you guys, please download it, mess around with it, figure it out, um, if you have it already downloaded and something's not showing up, log out and log back in, and that might help it um, Wattify is not the best app, but it's what we got to work with. So that's it. <laughs>